Hello everyone, today we're going to have a look at the difference between a fake Swiss Army knife and a real Swiss Army knife. It's pretty easy to tell um, once you've had a look. Most of you guys who watch my channel will instantly know the difference when you see one. But if you don't, I've got a couple of examples here. One shitty, one fantastic. Stick around. Chuck them under the camera, have a look. Just for maybe some people who haven't seen the fakies before, because the uh, big difference between them and the real bad boys, don't worry about that. Stick around. Okay, so the first difference that surely you will notice <clears throat> is that this one has the actual Victorinox logo inlay. This one has some weird knockoff. It's not really an inlay. It's there. It's it's something. Okay, now this knife is the closest knockoff I have to to the Swiss Champ, which is an awesome knife, flagship of the brand. Uh, let's turn them this way. <laughs> okay. There's a dead giveaway straight away. Not only just the size difference. But just look at the... I don't know if you... you know, you'll be able to see that the craftsmanship and the quality from one to the other is, is massively different. We'll do a whole nother flip. Just, just not looking as nice. Yeah. Flip it again. <laughs> this thing has this this keyring bit that's kind of wedged in between the layers, but that moves. Um, not cool, man. Not cool. But uh, I don't even know where we're up to. Here, yeah, we're up to there. All right, and then back. To the start. Swiss champ, piece of crap, Chinese knockoff. But it doesn't end there. Okay, so apart from the quality in general, if you can't pick it, uh, the tang stamp is probably another telltale sign. The tang stamp is on a main blade. On a Victorinox. Tang stamp on this one. Victorinox Switzerland Stainless. One of many, but a great telltale sign. On the other side, Officer Swiss. This one, uh, Officer Swiss, is probably 2005 onwards. So yeah, it's it's 2019. This knife is anywhere between one, <laughs> I guess, uh, and 14 years old. But I've had this knife for a year or so, and I'm pretty sure I might have had it longer than that. So it's who you knows? It's somewhere in between there. These Chinese suckers. Once I find it, oh look, well, there's another thing too, like. Hold the emblem towards you, no matter how many layers on the knife, it could be a skinnier knife, you'll open the main blade like this. That's not it. There's the main blade, so the main blade opens Ugh. over here. No tank stamp on one side. And we have a stainless china on the other side. So, dead giveaway, no genuine Swiss Army knife has ever been or will be made in China. It's crap. This is a genuine Swiss soldier's knife from uh, Victorinox, once again. 
Uh, these things were made for Yonks, 19... Oh God, I, I don't even have any data on this, 19... Actually, this is 1961. Yeah, I kind of do know that. 1961 through to 2007. Uh, and this is also a Victoria Knox Switzerland stainless rust spray. But on the other side of the stamp, it has the year of this soldier knife. 77, which is my birth year. Uh, after 2000... Oh, listen to snap. Oh. After 2007, <clears throat> they came out with the latest model of the Swiss Soldiers knife, which is still issued to all Swiss Soldiers. By the way, this was the longest standing Soldiers model, and the smallest. This one here, Tang Stamp. Toronox Swiss made on there is a one handed opening with a front serrated main blade liner lock great liner lock for left handers as I am so sorry to all you right handers um, has a dual composition scale on it with a nylon and then a, a rubber type accent which good for grip um, has the largest saw ever I love it this thing will chop into anything uh, and yeah it has a few other bits and pieces it also has a locking flat blade screwdriver wire stripper bender with a bottle opener line lock also and the can opener with a smaller 3mm screwdriver, flat blade screwdriver, and backside tools also. Uh, first, I don't actually I don't know if it was the first, but the, this didn't have any backside tools. This has the Phillips head screwdriver and the reamer slash all fantastic tool pre-drilling. I don't know, self defense, whatever you want. Great knife. Used this at work for a long time. Just too easy to pull out of a pouch and rip open boxes and cut straps and things that I do at work. But they've been making these knives for 130 years. You can't copy that, China. Stop it. These things are fucking rubbish. Look at it. Here's the saw. To the saw. Wow. This has got the diamond cross cut. They've tried, but I think probably another massive difference is is these knives, these Torinox knives, are a stone wash, proper stainless steel. It's hard to tell on the video, but these pieces of crap look like a, a plated type steel, and the thing's not sharp. Like, I would not run my finger over the double cut saw on a Victorian ox like that. Look. I will really Yeah, there's no way I'm doing that in a Victorian ox. I'm just taking all the skin off my finger. And people have been giving me these. Thinking that they're doing the right thing. But they're all Oh god, they're all just as rubbish. That snap is good. Listen. Up. <laughs> Eh, ah, no. It's a, actually, we won't. Actually, we'll show you this one because check it. The difference is amazing, but that's probably not a comparable knife because the soldier does have bigger tools on it than standard. But 
Oh, there's no snap. There's a standard bottle opener, wire stripper, flat blade screwdriver. Oh, let's close this one. Oh, yeah. This one, half stop. Beautiful snap. I'd be pretty surprised if anybody was fooled by the Chinese knockoffs if they'd ever seen any kind of Victorinox knife in the flesh. Fuck you, China. I'm gonna stay on tang stamps. When you're looking at the little 58 millimeter model knives, yeah, they've, they've got a tang stamp. Sure do. I have a Victorinox Swiss made stainless tang stamp on one side. So you can tell it's genuine. No one else is allowed to use that. On the other side, oh, shameless cross promotion. Um, they have nothing. They don't have the Officer Swiss on there. And there are many variations of the Officer Swiss and of the, the Victorinox logo. Um, I'll put a, um, I might throw a picture up here that you can have a look at that will explain most of it, uh, maybe now. But the smaller knives don't have, this one has Hoffritz because it was made by a, well not made by, but imported by the Hoffritz company in America and they were the major distributor of Swiss Army knives in America during a certain period, I, I have no idea when that period was, they all had that Hoffritz tank stamp and some of them had the Hoffritz on the scales, uh, but I digress. Uh, the little ones don't have the officer Swiss on there because they're not derived from the officer's knife, which is the actual soldier's knife. So soldier's knife, soldier's knife. In saying that, it doesn't have officer Swiss on it either. I'm quite sure why. But all these are derived from it, whether they're one layer, two layer, through to, what do we got here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six layer. It, Officer Swiss, only on the knives derived from the Swiss Army knife, or the officer's knife, sorry. Even this cool knife that one my wife gave me. She gave me a fake one and said, oh, I found this and this. And yeah, this one was one of the good ones. So she's a little Ross Frey. So it's 52 to 86. Can't date it any further than that because on the other side, there's nothing. Oh, there's a snap on this. Oh, best snap out of any knife I have. Um, because it's not derived from, from the officer's knife or the Swiss Army knife. Anyway, I could carry on and on about the difference between these things. It, it's very obvious the lack of quality. Once you've ever held one of these beauties, as to when you get one of these pieces of crap in your life. Um, I'm not ever going to try and sell them. I'm not even going to give them to my young children. They're going to get decent Victorinox knives when they're old enough to handle them. They already play with mine, I just don't want to give them an actual Vic. Right now, uh, this country is pretty ordinary for knife laws and I can see my kids just loving them so much they want to take them to school. Uh, so I need them to be, be a little bit more wary of that before I let them do that. But uh, yeah, even they know the difference between you know, a piece of crap and the real deal. Thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you can tell the difference between a piece of crap 
and a beautiful piece of craftsmanship one more time hit that like subscribe like subscribe notification bell and uh you'll see more videos like this cheers Aussie Sackman out